Most Chromebooks like this Acer C720 are entry-level devices running low-end Celeron processors or even mobile processors. Their devices marketed at schools more equated with plastics and low-resolution panels than they are with performance and superior build quality. This, on the other hand, is the Google Chromebook Pixel. Newly updated for 2015, this is the Bentley of the Chromebook line. Which to some people is like saying, well, the Bentley of Kraft Mac and Cheese. What can be said about Google's $1,000 premium Chromebook? Find out here in my full review of the 2015 Google Chromebook Pixel. The base level version is packing an Intel 5th generation Broadwell Core i5 processor rated at 2.2 GHz base speed. Not only is this an extremely fast processor, but it enables the Pixel to run for up to 12 hours on a charge. Paired with this processor are 8GB of RAM and a 32GB SSD for local storage. The end result of this high-end hardware on this Chromebook is impressive. I've never seen a computer run Chrome as fast as the Pixel does. Even under a heavy load with two dozen open Chrome tabs and multiple video streams running, pages continue to render almost instantly and scrolling is unnervingly smooth. But if for some reason that sounds too slow to you, you can opt for the upgraded LS or Ludicrous Speed Edition. For $12.99, this version packs a Core i7 processor with 16GB of RAM and a 64GB SSD. Both versions have the same display, a 3-2 aspect ratio 12.85 inch IPS touchscreen display at a resolution of 2560 by 1700 with a ridiculous 239 ppi and 400 nit brightness. Translated into English, that means it is an incredibly crisp and very bright touchscreen display that is perfect for web browsing. The Pixel also has a fantastic backlit keyboard and a premium etched glass trackpad. Out of the box, you get about 23GB of that 32GB solid state drive available for use, which isn't much at this price point, but of course you don't really install applications on the Pixel. You also get one terabyte of Google Drive storage free for three years. For ports, the Pixel has two USB 3.0 ports and a full SD card slot to expand local storage. And it also has two USB 3.1 Type-C ports, one on each side of the device, either of which can be used to power the Pixel. The overall look and feel of this device is a dense premium slab of metal. The Pixel is relatively thick and somewhat heavy for its size and class at 3.3 pounds. But the unibody aluminum design screams premium, and like its predecessor, it also has the Google light bar at the top of the lid, displaying the Google colors while in use and providing battery status indication when the lid is closed. Put bluntly, at the $999 price point, there is no laptop on earth that can match the Chromebook Pixel for quality of web browsing experience or performance on the web. This device powers on in under 5 seconds, can be set up in less than 5 minutes from scratch, will not get viruses or malware, and it handles Chrome better than any but the absolute highest end computers. Any issues with the 2013 edition of the Pixel regarding the fan kicking on too quickly or being too loud or the device getting too hot have been resolved with this 2015 edition. The issue of not being able to run many local applications on the Chromebook Pixel, this is true with all Chromebooks, at least not natively in Chrome OS. More on that in a minute. But yes, outside of some applications like Google Docs and Gmail Offline, the Pixel is still very limited in its ability to run offline applications. This is primarily a thousand dollar device for browsing the web. There is one more point we need to discuss when we look at the Pixel. You can run a full Linux operating system on it. Using Crouton, I've loaded up Ubuntu, specifically XFCE 14.04 with touch support. This allows me to get the benefit of a full local operating system, including full offline functionality. 
For example, I've installed Minecraft on the Chromebook Pixel, and it runs incredibly well, even with the default graphics setting of Fancy. You can also run Steam. There are over a thousand games that now support Linux and Steam OS available on Steam, and while admittedly not all of them will run on the integrated Intel 5500 GPU that comes with the Chromebook Pixel 2015, you may be surprised at how many games will actually work given Intel's considerable improvements in their integrated GPUs. Half-Life 2, which is admittedly an older title, runs extremely well on the Chromebook Pixel. Using Crouton, you can do full local photo editing, retro game emulation, or use VLC to watch movies, among the many other things you could do with a full Linux distribution. Certainly, the local solid-state drive size is limiting for those that want to go this route, but you can install the entire Linux operating system onto external media if you want to, such as using a large SD card or a USB flash drive. To be clear, this requires some user work out of the box, about 30 to 60 minutes depending on your experience level, and as of this moment, there are still some issues between Crouton, the program that lets you run Linux and Chrome OS side by side, and the new Broadwell processors, but I'm confident that those will be resolved in the near future. That wraps up my coverage of the Google Chromebook Pixel 2015. If you're looking to use this as your only computer, there are some hurdles to get past, hurdles you may or may not want to encounter in a computer that costs $1,000. That said, if, like me, you spend most of your time online and in a Chrome browser anyway, you simply cannot get a better browsing experience than you get on this device for anywhere close to this price point. The Chromebook Pixel is the best in its class for anything you can do on the web. Other reviews have asked, who the hell is going to buy this Chromebook? Well, I bought it, and let me tell you, it is real, and it is spectacular. For my full written review on the Chromebook Pixel, as well as other information about installing Crouton on your Chromebook, see the links in the description or head over to Voltron00x.com. Thanks for watching, and as always, be safe out there.